Well, right now, parts of western New York are under wind, snow, and or lakeshore flood alerts. As we look live over downtown Buffalo right now, we've seen the camera shaking a little bit from time to time. A crazy swing in temperatures, too, from 50 down to below freezing. We'll check in again on your full forecast in just a little bit. Meanwhile, though, on a weather related story, I'm joined now by Channel 2's Rob Hackford. So anytime we hit the winter here, mm -hmm. um, we start talking about this thing behind us here. Code blues when the temperature dips down low enough. And we've learned from hearing from our viewers that not everybody knows really what that means. Yeah, there's a lot to it, Michael. There's a 32. There's a code blue 15. They mean different things based on the temperature. And a lot of you have looked at this story we've shared on WGRZ.com. We wanted to explain and get a closer look at that. But I'm going to let the folks who are in charge of this or actually impacted by it Take it from there. So Code Blue provides shelter space, provides meals, provides showers, provides laundry uh, for our homeless individuals, our unhoused neighbors. We serve uh, about 130 a night between the two Code Blue shelters. I'm a recovering addict and I'm homeless. I had to admit those type of things to myself before I could help myself. So Code Blue has been around in our community for about 13 years. Uh, started as a collaborative effort. It was actually uh, pretty small. It was kind of a volunteer effort. So uh, it has morphed into the enormous project that it is now. It's quite an undertaking. In the previous Code Blue season, we served over 1,300 unique individuals. I'm just homeless. I've come here to, to stay. We're having a lot of new people show up at our Code Blue shelters who have never experienced homelessness and really have no idea how to make their way through the system or the process. So we are providing a lot of services to people uh, to make sure that they, they don't, their, their time in homelessness is short. You know, there's very few places where they can take you in, feed you, give you clothing, and talk to you. I'm just grateful that I met some very good people. Homelessness is some, something that affects everybody, right? It can happen to any of us at any time. When you have conversations about homelessness, it's always about them wandering around downtown or them sitting in a doorway somewhere or them gathering garbage under a bridge. Um, together, we can make a difference in this problem. At this time, I'm about to get housing. And it's only because I worked on myself and, you know, tried to keep my appointments and do what I had to do to better myself. And I'm forever grateful. Together, we have to come up with a solution for this uh, that works for everybody, but shows our, our humanity and our, and our, and our, faith, in, our faith in humanity and in, in doing the right thing. There's a lot of people in need. Powerful message there, um, and this is a big operation to carry something like this off. Yeah, I mean, there's countless charities involved, many organizations as well, St. Luke's Mission of Mercy, uh, Hearts, Hearts for the Homeless as well. Uh, I just want to thank as well Eric, um, we had Chuck as well as Gene from the Western New York Homeless Coalition for allowing us into that space because they're the ones that make this happen every day or are affected by it on a regular basis. Folks that we don't necessarily, uh, you know, see often, but or, or get to hear from for that matter. Um, so it was something we really wanted to share here about Code Blue and you know what this will be like for the rest of the winter. Yeah, you hear Code Blue and now you know. Mm -hmm. Rob, thank you very much for yeah. that. Appreciate it.